how to connect Printify and WooCommerce. First, you need to have a WordPress website, and then you can add WooCommerce. Go to plugins on your WordPress dashboard. Search for WooCommerce, then install and activate the plugin. Once it's activated, you'll see a customization onboarding process. Start by writing the store name. This is important if you have more than one store connected to Printify, so you can recognize it when you need to choose a store to add a product to. Then you can select the categories of the store from the list, or you can select other. I select clothing and accessories because this is what you get from Printify. Next, set the store location. This is for tax purpose, so set it for your real address. Then add your email and continue. Now they ask you to add some plugins. I deselect all of them. You don't need them for now. Click continue and now you are on the main setting page. They try to make some money out of you with the setting. So you can skip all of this and do it manually by going to the setting of WooCommerce. There you have all the setting for everything you need. If you want to use PayPal for your WooCommerce store, then you need to add a plugin for it. They used to include it with all the payments options, but now you need a plugin. If if you use other payment methods, you can add their plugins like I do with PayPal and follow the instructions of your payment provider. After finding, installing and activating the PayPal plugin, go back to WooCommerce setting and click on payments. You will see a notification asking you to connect your PayPal account. Click on the setup page, then click on the activate PayPal button. You will need to log in to your account. Wait a few seconds to give PayPal time to connect to your website and the page will update to confirm the connection. If you click on payment again, you can now activate any PayPal option available on the list. Another important setting to do before connecting Printify is to set the permalink to post name. So go to permalink and click on post name and save. Let's connect Printify to your WooCommerce store. Go to plugin, search for Printify, install it and activate it. You won't see much difference on your website after installing the Printify plugin. In the setting of WooCommerce, you'll find shipping options. You can connect this to Printify and they will automatically adjust shipping based on your customer location. It's up to you if you want to offer the same shipping rates or free shipping. If you prefer to manage shipping manually in WooCommerce, you can remove Printify shipping options so they won't override everything. Now go to Printify. At the top, you'll see the store list. Or if it's a new account, you'll find the option under the store tab. Click on add new store and choose WooCommerce from the list of options. By the way, this is also how you connect stores from other websites. Next, add the URL of your website. Make sure you are logged in. If not, you'll be prompt to log in before connecting. Once that done, your WooCommerce store is connected to your Printify account. Click on a catalog. Now you should add a product manually, so you can see all the steps before creating the automation. To add a product to your WooCommerce store connected to Printify, you need to do so on Printify. Start by searching for the product you want to design. In this case, I'm choosing the teddy bear. For the automation, it's best to keep things simple to save steps. While Printify has customization tool, I recommend uploading a ready-made design. For the teddy bear, I use a design size of 5400 by 4500 pixels. I create my design on Canva and keep the background invisible so the white color doesn't print on the background. Make sure the background is clear. For stuffed animals, there are only one provider. For other products, you need to choose a provider when you click on start designing. Select the right provider, then proceed to the next page. You can upload your design to the design page. While it's possible to record all the clicks for designing in the automation, it's better to reduce the number of steps just to make everything less complicated. You can choose some colors for the shirt of the animal. I think it's best to choose up to three colors and not more. Since this stuffed animal includes a few options already, having fewer options can help customers decide more easily. If you prefer even fewer options, you can choose just one shared color. On the next page, you can choose how many images to upload to your product on WooCommerce. I leave it as is and continue to the next page. Here you can select the main image for your product. I also leave it as is for now. In the next section, you can add information that will appear in WooCommerce. You can edit the title and description and even include a table of sizes 
at the beginning of the description. If you want buyers to have the option to customize a product, you can add that feature here, but you will need to approve each purchase on Printify. It is not automated. In the pricing section, you can set the product price. For valuable products, you can adjust the price for each variation. There is also an option to hide the product so it doesn't publish immediately. This is helpful if you want to make changes before it goes live. I usually make some changes to the product, but I leave it published anyway, since I can quickly make adjustments in WooCommerce minutes after publishing. Once published, you'll be taken to a page showing all the product you've uploaded. You can click on any product to view it on your website and see how it looks. Give it a minute to update and send the product to your website. If the product has many images from variation, it may take longer to complete. Now, you can make some changes on WooCommerce after the product is published. Click on the three dots next to the product on Printify and choose to view it in your store. Once there, click on edit product at the top if you're logged in to your website. Here you can add things that aren't possible during the product creation process in Printify. For example, you can add a short description that appears under the product name. It's a good idea to write a brief sentence about your product here. Another limitation on Printify is the inability to add categories and tags. You can do this manually here or automate it with Task Magic. Another useful addition is the promotion. You can suggest similar product or designs, which will appear on the same page or in the cart when the buyer add this product. This helps increase the cart value per purchase. You can also automate this step with Task Magic. After making all the changes, click Save. Now that you've completed all the clicks and typing manually, the next step is to create the automation in Task Magic.